shamanettes, it's Suzanne, the beauty shaman. So I am a holistic makeup artist and esthetician, and I do not use Botox, fillers, or plastic surgery. So that when I talk about products working, you know that they actually work. That is my platform. Okay, so for today, I'm gonna talk about the two skincare products that I would say are the most important. Now, I can't tell you how many of you come to me and ask me this question, like, okay, there's, you know, I can buy $500 worth of products, but what are the most important things? And as a professional makeup artist, the amount of women, older women who sit in my chair and say, look, I just want to look really good. I want to age well. I want to love my body as I age. I don't want to feel like I have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars in order to keep up with somebody else. I really just want to honor myself. And I love this idea. And I'm very, very for this. So today we are going to talk about two products. We're going to narrow it down to two products that I really am supportive of that I think kind of, if you're going to get good skincare, these are the two you need to focus on the most. Okay. So before we get started, please visit my website at thebeautyshaman.store.com and also hit the subscribe button and the bell as well in order so that I can continue to make great content here on YouTube. Okay. Let's get going. Okay, so the two skincare products I would say you definitely need to get is vitamin C and retinol. Those are the two top products that uh, every woman needs to have in her cabinet. Um, and you can spend varied amounts of money on both of these. So what I'm going to do is talk about each in turn, and then I'm going to share with you my top three in each category for vitamin C and retinol for you to use and purchase. Um, so in other words, if you don't have a very big budget, I'll give you one that works really well with that. If you've got money to spend and you really want something great, I can tell you what to get there. Okay. Okay. So my number one um, ingredient or product that I think every woman needs to have is a vitamin C serum. So I recently did a video on the seven different types of vitamin C serum and what they do and what you need to be aware of. I'm putting that in the corner right here. I also wrote a blog about it just so that you could really take it in. It's a lot of information. Um, I think it's really important to be educated and you all are highly intelligent women. And I think that's why I want to speak to you on this level because I feel like you um, can take it in, you can figure this out. So vitamin C, just because it says vitamin C on the can, the can, the bottle does not mean it's going to actually work. Okay. The reason is because of the different types and the different quantities of vitamin C in the product. So how do you know this? All right. So what you do is you read the ingredient deck and you want to be sure that it shows up in the first three to five ingredients, or if it shows up further down, it's not necessarily a bad thing. What it means is that that product is not as irritating. Vitamin C and retinol, both ingredients we're gonna talk about can be irritating to the skin in too concentrated of forms. If they're not properly um, compounded, like if a pharmacist hasn't compounded it, a lot of times you find uh, companies that just sort of like put vitamin C and they put a few other things in there. That doesn't mean it can actually sink underneath the dermis layer of the skin and be effective. Okay, so it's important to know your product, to know the brand, to know where they're stemming from, that have pharmacists on their staff um, that are actually compounding the product. Okay, having said that, let's talk about three different types of vitamin C and what you need to be aware of as you're shopping. And I'm going to give some recommendations here. Um, having said that, why vitamin C? Vitamin C is a fabulous antioxidant. Taken externally on your skin, it can really help to minimize fine lines and wrinkles. It can help um, with just strengthening your skin, helping it to be um, thicker, more powerful, more uh, glowy. Like it really has, it's, it's a superpower. Okay. Vitamin C is, is mega, mega, mega important. It's also mega important internally. So for example, um, just eating oranges isn't enough. Your body does not manufacture vitamin C. So it's really important that you take vitamin C in a supplemental form. I would say taking about 4,000 milligrams per day as an older woman is very important. If you say, yeah, I take a multivitamin, it has vitamin C, I promise you it is not enough. Go read the ingredient label and see how many milligrams of vitamin C are in there. It is definitely not 4,000, I can tell you that. So it's important to take it, I think, as an isolated supplement. Don't take it in conjunction with other ones. And take high levels of it. You will notice a dramatic increase in your health as well as your condition of your skin. And skin is a reflection of what's going on internally, okay? As an esthetician, I can look at you and know how your health is by looking at your skin because it is the canary in the coal mine, okay? 
Okay. So harping on vitamin C, but take your vitamin C, super important. And of course, use a really good vitamin C externally. Vitamin C externally, you need to be sure it's in a dark bottle. If it's not in a dark bottle, um, then it, for the most part, is probably rancid. Now, that's not to say that some of the dark bottles are not rancid. This is why you got to look for a good product. Um, some of them in clear bottles, if it's mixed with gold, okay, literal gold, it will not go rancid. So not all brands do that. Having said that, um, really pay attention. Most of the time, it needs to be in a darker bottle in order for it not to go rancid because vitamin C is highly unstable. And so a lot of ingredients that go into these products are to help the vitamin C to stabilize so that it can actually be usable on your face, okay? So, so okay, the first type of vitamin C I want to talk about is L-ascorbic acid. Okay, L-ascorbic acid is by far the most popular. It's the one most people have heard of. It is definitely not the best or the only or the only one to look at. There's seven other types, okay? Each one has its own function. I would say it depends on your skin. L-ascorbic acid can be a little bit harsh on the skin if it's not properly formulated. So, for example, if it has, if a product has a lot of um, L-ascorbic acid in it and you you can tell by the ingredient deck how much. If it's number one, there's a lot, okay? If it's number five, there's less, okay? So you can kind of see where it falls. Um, but at times, l acid in high amounts can really be irritating to your skin. So you kind of want to be careful with that. Having said that, it is a good form of vitamin C. Okay, so the product I'm going to recommend with l acid is The Ordinary. It retails around 7 or $8, very inexpensive. If you've never tried vitamin C before, I would say go ahead and give it a go. Try The Ordinary. It's inexpensive. Um, it'll give you, give you a chance to see what your skin does, how it reacts um, to that. I would say, um, you know, for $7, you're getting um, a product that is not fabulous, but you're getting a product that has l acid and you can see its reaction without actually, you know, spending an enormous amount of money. Go ahead and give it a go. Let me know what you think. The second type of vitamin C I'm going to talk about is called tetrahexyhexyldecyl. Okay. Tetrahexyldecyl. Tetrahexyldecyl asorbate. Okay, that one's a mouthful. Tetrahexydecyl asorbate is a wonderful type of vitamin C. It is less irritating than l acid, tends to soak into the skin, be very effective. It's one of those vitamin Cs that you need to do every day over a longer extended period of time, maybe a month or two, in order to really see a difference because it isn't super strong, okay? It's a weaker form, which is fine because it's less irritating. Having said that, it is still effective, but it does mean you need to be really consistent with it. The product I'm going to recommend for that is Image MD Restoring Youth Cream. I love this. This is what you use in the morning. Um, has high amounts of hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Lovely product. Um, with that particular type of vitamin C in it. You will see that type of vitamin C in many products. And as you look down the, the ingredient deck, you will you'll be amazed at how often it shows up because it is so gentle on the skin and it's a wonderful ingredient. So I would say this is a little bit more expensive than the ordinary. I want to say this is around $80, although I could be wrong. All right, the third type of vitamin C I'm going to talk about is tetraisopalmitate. That one rolls off my tongue for some reason. Um, in any case, that is the kind of the superpower of vitamin C's. Not a lot of um, product lines use it because it is the most expensive and yet it is absolutely the most powerful. Um, some people find it more irritating because it is so strong, just depends on your skin. Um, having said that, this is my favorite type um, and I use it in Truth Treatment Skincare. Um, this is one of the brands I carry. I love this brand um, and their vitamin C serum has 80% vitamin C in it. Um, I use it once a day, two drops, that's it. Very, very, very concentrated. Definitely more spendy. It's $200. Um, but I would say pick one of those types of vitamin C and brands in order to start using some vitamin C on your skin and see how your skin reacts. I've been doing this a long time, so I can use very potent ingredients. Uh, but as you can see, it has a definite impact. All right, so the second product I would say every woman needs is retinol. So the prescription strength retinol is Retin-A or Trentinoin. Many of you have heard of this. You need to go to a dermatologist in order to get this. It is very strong, has a huge impact when you start using it. And what I mean by impact is your skin starts to 
um, turnover. So you start to see sloughing, you start to see some dryness and maybe some irritation. I would say definitely irritation if you're using Retin-A. And your skin, the top layer of your skin starts to sort of peel and come off. It can look a little bit rough, but that's what gets your, your cells turning over. And that's what you want. That's what helps to minimize fine lines and wrinkles is cell turnover. That's why exfoliation comes in handy, as well as doing things like peels or microdermabrasion or microneedling. All of those things do the same thing, and that is they encourage cell turnover and cell rejuvenation. It tells your skin, all right, make more, right? And that's what causes your skin to sort of brighten up. So as your skin gets brighter, it means that you have to go through that process of things uh, looking kind of rough, right? for a short period of time. I've known people that use retinol um, and, or instead of Retin-A. Retinol is a, di- is a much diminished form of Retin-A. Um, and they notice right away that their skin starts to look a little bit rough, get red and blotchy, and they go, oh, I'm allergic. Well, that's not necessarily true. Just because you're red and blotchy doesn't mean you're allergic. It could mean that it's actually working. And it depends on, like vitamin C, the strength of the product that you are using. If you're using a very strong form, of retinol, like I'm going to show you one of the products that I I often use, Um, you can have a a very strong reaction to it um, if you use it too frequently or if your skin isn't used to it. The weaker forms, again, are probably not going to have as much of a reaction. Again, I'm starting with Retin-A because that is the most powerful form of retinol. And most retinols you want to use between two and three times a week. Depends on the strength of it. Um, If it's a weaker form, you can definitely use it every single day. And we'll talk about one of those forms. Um, Definitely, you won't notice very much irritation, that sort of thing, maybe a little bit. But through time, you'll really see your skin brighten. Okay, so to start off with, what are the different brands that you could look at? All right, one of the brands I'm going to talk about here is CeraVe, or CeraVe, I think is what it's called. I think you can get this at a drugstore. We're going to start on the lower end here. It's $24.50, what I saw online. Um, it's resurfacing retinol serum. Okay, so this has a lower quantity of retinol in it. And if you use it and you don't see a difference, is because the quantity isn't high enough for you. Now, if you've never used retinol before, I would say get the CeraVe. Um, the Ordinary also makes a brand of... Um, retinol that is very low on the uh, uh, the quantities of retinol used. Therefore, you're not going to have as big of a reaction. So if you start using CeraVe, you're probably not going to see all that much redness and irritation to start off with for sure. But it's a great thing to start with if you've never used it before. Okay, so the second brand I would talk about is um, Image MD. I really love this brand. Um, this is fabulous. It's created by a dermatologist, and this is their Restoring Youth Repair Cream in the blue bottle. So this actually, you can use this every single day, and you can, it's a night cream. So when you're putting on retinol at night, that's the best time to use it. Um, it does cause your skin to be a little bit more sensitive in the sun. Um, all of retinol does that, and so you have to use a sunblock from that day forward, basically. But you got to use it anyway, so what's the difference? In any case, you use it every single day. And if you notice some redness and a little irritation, then you back off a little bit. And then you go back and use it. And over time, you really do notice a difference. This is a mild form of retinol, but enough that you're going to see a difference. So it's a greater... Um, form than the CeraVe. Does that make sense? I believe that this is around $80, $90 for this bottle last year, a couple of months. Okay, the last type of vitamin, of uh, retinol we're going to talk about is Truth Treatment. So I really love this brand. This is the 5%. This is huge amount of retinol. Um, I would say if you don't use retinol very often, then don't get the 5%, get the 1%. Um, he also makes a 1%. Um, having said that, the lowest amount that you can use and see a difference is 0.5%. So this is really important because if brands put, I've seen brands advertise that they have 0.01% retinol. It's like, why even put that on there? It doesn't do anything. You want 0.5% and up. So this one, we have a 1% and a 5% in this. Um, the other brand that I talked about, ImageMD, I believe this is 0.5%. So again, it's stronger than the CeraVe. The Truth Treatments gets even stronger than that. A 1% of the Truth Treatments, 1% is really fabulous. Um, and again, I would use these products, that product in particular, about three times a week. Let your skin recover between applications. 
Keep it away from your eye area, and like I say, use your SPF. The Truth Treatments 1% retails for $139, the 5% is 189 So again, we're walking up the scale here in intensity as well as cost. Um, if you're just looking for something mid-range that works, that is um, not gonna cause an enormous amount of irritation, but is gonna have an effect on your skin, I'd say go for the Image MD. If you're like, no, I've tried all those, I need something strong, go for the Truth Treatments. Um, and if you're a brand newbie, go for the Ordinary. I hope this has been helpful. Um, I think it's really important to know exactly what to get, um, what works for you, and also what the effect on those on your skin that will be. Because I want you to be empowered as a consumer. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your vitamin C and retinol and have a great day.